All right. all right, we can crank this out. I teach all techniques, of course. She. All right, you turn it off. Is this rolling? It's all been rolling, yeah. Huh. Okay. It's like this, like this. Mm -hmm. Just so, um, so where we did them, like how we did them before, you were happy with that shape? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. This is the best part of the whole procedure right mm -hmm. here. The numbing cream. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing, Michelle? So right now I'm applying numbing gel so that she's comfortable during the procedure. We want to minimize any amount of discomfort possible. And we have really good numbing stuff to do that with. things that are formulated specifically for cosmetic tattoo. And then I put a little plastic barrier that creates just a little bit of heat and help, helps with the numbing process. And that sits on for about five minutes and then we'll start. not my brow I'm putting on you it's not like I, I'm the artist but yet I, it's not it's I'm not creating some brow on eyebrow on you that is not fit for your face it's not my vision it's it's I'm my challenge is to find your brow like give you back the brow you lost or that you should have grown based upon your uh, bone structure so it really is it's the practice of you know um, creating a, an eyebrow with a client that has symmetry and balance and, prop, and proper, you know, color. It's a really fun challenge, I find. Okay, so now we're going to check out how comfortable you are. You have to, the, the skills that you have to learn to be able to do cosmetic tattoo are, um, you know, how to design an eyebrow from scratch. You know, you can, I mean, it's, it's nice when they have eyebrow hair and you can, you can build off of that. that that's an easier um, client, but also, especially clients over 50 who have, because of hormonal changes or trauma or... Um, having tweezed too many times, they have no hair at all. So that's when, you know, you look at classical uh, measuring uh, marks like the corner of your eye or, you know, the corner of your nose, and, you know, that's a start. But then really you create the brow based upon uh, the, the bone structure. You know, so some people have very prominent eyebrows, eyebrow bones, you know, forehead here, and then some people have very flat, and, and a lot of the shape of the brow is about that. So when I look at an eyebrow, you know, you, you just, it starts to talk to you after a while. It's like you can just see where the fat pad sits on the bone, and, and how would hair complement that. And it's, um, I don't know, I just think it's really fun. You know, everybody has just different features. It's a challenge. It, when it fades, it blends more, right? Mm hmm Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, you have to act like you're enjoying it. Come on. <laughs> this is the greatest thing. She does. So oh, great. Okay. <laughs> beauty is pain. Good. Pain is beauty. Who cares? That's what no one knows. Maybe move a little bit closer to me, Tara. You know, it's like you look at this face and you're like, well, I mean, it's a blank canvas, but I mean, there are there are rules. You can't just go crazy. You know, yeah, you could design. There's um, there's still a couple of brows you could still put on this person. You could do like a skinny version of it, a fat version of it. You know, a, a more angled version of it.
here. So, you know, cosmetic tattoo, traditionally like this, it's always a little dark, it's always a little bold, it's always a little long. Yeah, it's a little bold. Because you lose so much. So you know, it's like, I have to trust my skills and right. know that this is gonna be perfect. Sit up and then let's take a look. and you have to talk to the client about what they want and you just you're trying to meet their needs where I'm trying to you know maintain the symmetry the balance the right uh, color what something that's complementary you know sometimes you have that client who just wants something crazy and you have to kind of talk them away from you know the cliff the crazy and just get them to understand that that this is a semi-permanent you know process and that we need to look I want to look after them not just today, but you know, down the road, knowing that they're going to need touch-ups and uh, maintenance, that you know, we don't do anything that they're going to regret ten years, you know, from now.